Hello everyone, Princess and Bear here. We're at Epcot today for another somewhat humid day. Yeah, it's very hot. This is summer. Loot his face. It's basically every day. So today we're going to... The Garden Grill. The at garden your grill. request. Yes, at your request. We're going to go sit in the restaurant and spin in circles for God knows how long. One uh, circle maybe? One Two? One circle? I don't know. We'll see. It's slow. See. But uh, instead of the view recommendation, we're going to check this place out and see kind of vegan stuff they have to offer. So we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. supposed to be orangey, it's like essence of Florida. This straw is useless. It's good. It mostly just tastes like an orange smoothie. I like it a lot. You can tell that there's mango in it though, it's got like more of a sweetness to it. It's really good. <laughs> Straw is impossible. Possible. Seriously, I need to bring my own straw. 
I need to stop listening to Bear Bring My Own Cricket Straw. He wants his paper straws. He's married to these paper straws, so just bring my own. Next time. So because I can't get a specialty drink, I decided to go with something local. We got the Orlando Brewing Blonde Ale. Mmm. Like from Chris, I can drink this all day. Four to five plus. There's a brain freeze from this delicious drink. Bear wants me to try his beer. I'm more obsessed with my drink. Not good after a mixed drink. It's a little nutty. I'm sure if I had not had a mixed drink prior to that, it'd be good. Hey, Pluto. <laughs> So everything on this skillet only is vegan. Looks like we have some rice, corn, french fries, green beans, and some sort of loaf. It looks good. Let's start with the green beans. Cooked perfectly. Tangy. Really tangy, but like good. It's like a tangy sweet. It's got a lot of good flavors going on there. And then we got some rice. It's seasoned. It's not cooked in broth. It's definitely cooked in water, but it's got a lot of oregano in it. I don't know how I feel about that. Then some corn. Ooh. You can tell that that's like freshly made here. It's really, really good. Grab a little piece of this loaf. Mmm. Well, there's all kinds of things mixed in there. I need to figure out what's in that because that's really, really good. It's like. It's almost like eating a hummus fry, but it's got a lot more stuff in it, which is really good. And then, I think this is your typical Disney fry. Tastes like it too. Typical Disney fry. A little cinnamon kick to it, I think. Or maybe that's the loaf, I can't tell, but it's still good. First thing I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this loaf. This is the most interesting thing on the princess's plate. Mm. A nice crunchy flavor to it. It's a sort of like a vegetable loaf of some sort. But mm, it's really good. Four to five plus. Let's try this rice. It's corn. Solid corn. Boiled. Two and a half out of five bars. The green beans, which look bright and shrimp. Mmm. Seasoned hot. Those are all three out of five paws. That's this rice. Definitely gonna use being boiled with like some broth. The oregano is so strong. Mm. One and a half out of five claws. Not my jam. I'm done with that. That's the fries. That actually tastes slightly better than typical Disney fries. No. I don't agree with the Two and a half out of five claws.
That's for what I got. We have an amalgam of stuff over here. So we have turkey, green beans, mashed potatoes. They like chimichurri beef. Turkey and gravy. With some sort of stuffing. More green beans, the same ones. And the corn has got like lima beans in it and looks like red pepper. So it's definitely not the same for the corn. So give it a shot. Eat corn first. Mm. Corn's a lot more spicy. Definitely a lot more salty. Like it's some sort of chicken broth of some sort. Green beans are exactly the same. The corn is three and a half out of five pounds. It's good corn. As for the stuffing. It's a bit gritty. It's a bit more like mashed potatoes than it is stuffing. It's not like the, the fluffy. If you like your like your stuffing like crumbly and fluffy, this is not it. It's literally like mashed potatoes. It's not Thanksgiving stuffing. As for the turkey. Looks good. Honestly, it's just like lunch meat covered in gravy. One out of five pounds. Hungry man? Better than hungry man? Only slightly. As for the beef, which I expected to starve for some reason. Mm. That like green, like chimichurri sauce on top, like the perfect balance of the meat. It just explodes when you bite into it. Four and a half out of five plus on that. A little bit warmer, it'll be perfect. I think this is actually in the middle. We have mashed potatoes. Then, it looks like cranberry sauce. Mashed potatoes are okay. They're a bit on the salty side. They're not bad. Two and a half out of five plus. Cranberry sauce. Except the cranberry we don't have any orange juice in it or something. Mm, it's all three out of five pots. The one weird addition to this skillet. Everything on the skillet makes sense for me. It's like a so, sort of a, a garden grill because you have beef and turkey and stuffing and all the things that I was expecting to find on the farm table. But then I have mac and cheese with goldfish on them. Which does not feel like farmhouse. Maybe if you skip the goldfish. But it's still an odd addition. It's super cheesy. It's interesting because the goldfish actually adds a nice crunch to it. It doesn't feel like complete blast to me because after all it's mac and cheese. But um, whew, that cheese flavor is like boom in your face. It's still an odd one, but I'd still say it's above average. Three and a half out of five plus. Like sticks together, it's mm. so cheesy. It's almost like you eat a level. Sort of like, that's how thick it is. But good. Fair priest. Them 
moment when you spill your mango drink on Bear's plate and he thinks he can just keep eating on the plate. I fail at life. How do you eat that? This is so much food. And all I can smell is just berries. Strawberries are my favorite fruit in the world. Mm. Usually, I don't like strawberries in syrup because it tastes really artificial and sugary. But this is fresh. This was like made today. With, uh, I think this is like a muffin. It's a little hard. But muffin. Muffin, blueberry, strawberry. Mm. I thought I was full. I'm eating all this. This is incredible. Or at least I'm eating all the strawberries because damn these are good. It's not sugary or sweet. Mm. It's not sugary or overly sweet. Perfect balance. Let's try this. Mm. That is some good fruit in like a syrup. The syrup is not too much. Kind of what I was afraid of too. I don't really like any of my fruit and syrup because, well, it can be kind of gross. This is actually rather appetizing. The muffin is a bit dense, but once it's all mixed in, it's great. It is three and a half out of five. Bucks. Now, the non vegan dessert is basically the same thing, but with pound cake. I'll let you guys on a little secret. Well, I probably haven't even told the princess. Because although I will profess to be a hater of all cake, I actually have a secret childhood love for anything pound cake. So. Oh yeah. The rich of the pound cake, the berries and syrup, it's good. There is absolutely no way in the world I'm going to eat this whole thing. But I'm going to make a dinner at the very least. Four to five plus. Hello everybody, Princess and Barry here. We just finished at Garden Grill and um, it was pretty decent. It was average. I actually liked it quite a bit. It was a fun experience. Rotary restaurant's cool. You barely notice sometimes that you're moving. But the food versus the price, I'm still on the fence about character dining. The loaf was really good. The loaf was good. Service was great. Service was fantastic. They take tables mm -hmm. and AP, DVC, cast member discounts. The drinks are great, even though the princess tried to kill me. It was an accident, but That's yeah. What you say. Uh, the atmosphere is great. It was really cool to go in a circle, even though it was a little discombobulating at first. Yeah, we had a trouble trying to figure out which direction to go to get out, which in the end is either way. We'll lead you out, but whatever. It was still a very good experience food wise it was great to be able to eat food that you know was grown basically a stone throw away from where you were eating everything that i got as far as like the non-vegan buff the non-vegan platter makes sense to me except for that mac and cheese it was the weirdest thing to me you know, slices of turkey slices of beef garden vegetables stuffing mashed potatoes and then mac and cheese with goldfish on top now i get that was probably for the kids at the table but it's still really awkward and out of place it does not fit the menu um it was super cheesy it wasn't bad don't get me wrong it was definitely tasty but it just didn't fit the turkey was so so to me overall it was a good meal um as far as value goes to to, to taste i'm kind of on the fence Overall, I'm giving the whole thing a three out of five claws. 
it's slightly above average, but I feel like even with character dining, you can go better places and get better food. Like Tusker or, I'm shocked I'm going to say this, but Be Our Guest. Yeah, I wouldn't really consider Be Our Guest character dining like it is here because you only get the beast. But I feel like the food was good enough to do a return trip. We still have breakfast and dinner to try at Garden Grill, and I am really excited to go back, honestly. I might be willing to murder shot. If you've been to Garden Grill before, let us know your experiences in the comments. Yep, yeah, we want to hear from you. Uh, should we try dinner? Is breakfast what we should try next? But we want to hear from you, and we'll see you there. Until next time. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Thank you.